people have been asking, Harley, what would have you have done in this situation? Here's a video here. It's called Snake on the Car. It's just a water snake on the outside of the car. So you've got like safety glass between you and the one pound snake. <laughs> so people are freaking out though, they're driving in the highway. This is a video. This is a video of that. Uh, I don't know. This is a water moccasin. A huge water moccasin in our car. Now what I would have done is I would have found a place to stop your car and wait for the snakey to jump off the car and go back to where snakey belongs in the nature. Get a stick, whatever, poke it. It's just a one pound snake. <laughs> People are scared of one pound animals. <laughs> now, here's a 200 pound snake. Just to say that I walk my talk. Now this snake here tried to come in the house. And now I had to give it a bit of redirection and let the snake know that it was welcome on the property, but not perhaps in the house. So I sort of steered it with the tail and the snake eventually got the message and uh, took off into the shed, which is which was fine to do. So, so my tip for these people, man, it's just a snake. I mean, relax, relax. I mean, what what's the world coming to? You know, we're, we're, and what happened to that snake? Those people just kept driving, kept driving. And so what they do, they just kept driving. Snake ran off, boom, smacked by the car behind it. So I think that was a pretty uh, bad thing to do. Pretty, but it's just a snake, man. Pull over and let it jump off. It's like, fuck. What would a viewer have done? Post your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Just gonna move the snake off the road. Pick it up gently. Go down here. Snakes getting run over the road is a big problem out here. This is, a, this is a diamond python. You can tell by the uh, patterns on it. And just a right, real gentle pressure around its neck, not pulling it too firm. Okay. <laughs> that way, it doesn't get hurt. Hopefully it stays off the road.